Now, I'm kind of living out my childhood dreams right now because A-list are joined by UK R&B legends, Damage. Hey, How are you guys? Not old, you mean living out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> How are you guys today? Very good, good thank you. Well. Happy, good we know we're having a great day at the Wireless Festival, had a good show, so yeah. yeah, all good. Yeah, do you find it weird now performing all these years later and people are still going crazy for you? Like, how does that feel? Not weird, it's just great to, to still get the interaction and people know your music, they're singing your songs back. I think we're very uh, fortunate and very blessed that they can still get down with damage. It's nice. Yeah. And you returned to the spotlight last year on the big reunion, which yeah. I'm sure everyone watched. Um, what? How does it? How has the last year been? Now has it been crazy for you? It's been it's been uh, phenomenal. It's been great coming back with different heads on because obviously when we split in 2002 um, and then got back together for the big reunion, it was it was you know it's it's amazing just to be back with. We've all got families and, and, and doing other stuff and just a new head on and being able to enjoy it again. Yeah. I was going to say as well, because um, obviously it's been 20 years, well, you guys have been around for like 20 years, but then there was that break. Do you feel like now that you're older and wiser, do you feel like you know a lot more about the industry or do you feel you're still learning? 100%. We know, uh, in terms of we know more about what we want out of the industry um, and, and out of just music in general. Um, we're, like you said, we're a lot older and we're a lot wiser. So you know, we just we just do what feels more natural to us as opposed to what we should do or <laughs> or what record companies want us to do. You know, we just this this is just about us enjoying it and like Jade said earlier, just taking snapshots because when we were you know riding the success you know in the in the late nineties and all that, we weren't we just taking it all for granted. It was like it's not it's not going to stop. You know, so there's a lot of things that we don't remember. But now it's just like. What we're doing, wireless. Yeah. Okay, enjoy you know. it. Enjoy Have it, fun, man. and that's what we're doing. We're just having fun now. Yeah. Now you just said that you felt like you had to do things that the record label said you would do before. Would you say that you're more rebellious now than then than back then? No, not rebellious, <laughs> not at all. We just, we just, yeah, we just know what we want. It's simple as, you know. You're not going to do anything. I mean, we're, we're we're old and we're career men, you know, and we're family men as well. So, because of that, you know what's good for you. You know what feels good in your soul. So, because you know it feels good in your soul, that's what you're gonna do. If it doesn't feel good, you ain't gonna do it. I mean, when we when we started, I was the oldest, and I was 15, 16. So we were we were all kids. So obviously, when the record company head says mm, this should be the way that you should do it, because you know I've been in the industry for 30 years, and you're like, okay, well then. I guess if you know the best, we'll, we'll go with what you know. So yeah. nowadays, we are the old heads now. We're like, <laughs> okay, this is how we want it to be. Regardless of the outcome, this is what we need for it to, for, uh, to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, you may be the old heads, but you don't look it, guys. Thank so you're doing you. something That's right. <laughs> oh, is that the secret? Coco okay, Butter. might try that. So, what would you say when you look at boy bands around that are around now, not just R&B ones, but you know, even like the One Directions and people like that? What do you do? You notice the difference in how they are now compared to when you guys were around? Um, I think the industry has changed. Is in, I think it's quick. It's very, yeah, the turnaround is so much quicker than it used to be. Back in the day, you had record label sign artists and you'll have a development. There'll be, there'll be enough time to, to, to build on a band, to make them successful. Nowadays, if you're not successful overnight, you're dropped, you're out the door, the next one's in. And I think that a lot of that is due to TV shows like The X Factor and things like that, which isn't a bad thing. I just think with everything, the whole everything, the whole world has got a lot quicker. You know, we have social media. People want stuff at a push of a button. No one has time to wait about for anything anymore. So we just have to. Everything has to just move with the times. We're we, we're from the old school, so we just do what we do. You know, we just in, enjoy ourselves and just make sure we're as fresh as we can be. And just make sure we we're enjoying our, our journey that we're on. So, what would you give to new artists trying to get into the industry today? Looking back from what your your experiences in the past. Be humble, work hard, and um, surround yourself with a good team. So, what about your good new advice. music? Are you <laughs> are you working on new music, writing new material? Possibly, <laughs> possibly. I feel like you want to tell me more about that. <laughs> no, no, you you feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> There may be something coming out from Damage, but you have to keep your eyes and ears peeled. So more shows and possibly an album We've later this year? We've got more shows coming up, yeah, absolutely. We've, we're doing um, Jazz Cafe, we're doing their 25th anniversary in October. Um, we was like, well, lucky enough for them to ask us to, and a lot of, a, a lot of other 
amazing artists to, to come and celebrate their 25 years because you know Jazz Cafe is such a prestigious London yeah. venue there's only a few venues like that in London mm -hmm. where the greats play and it's, it's a real intimate venue so we're lucky enough and, and, and happy to be involved in that so that's going to happen in October. Cool. Well, I hope I'm look for, looking forward to seeing what else you've got in store. Cool. Good luck with everything, guys. Thank Thanks you. for talking. Cheers, Alice. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.